something funny just happened. So um, the guy asked me to pull up my shirt before I entered the bar. I'm like, what do you want me to pull up my shirt for, man? That's so weird. So I pulled it up at the front, and then he goes, turn around and do it. I just pulled it up at the back. And he was checking for weapons to make sure I was, you know, I wasn't packing. Do I look like I'm packing? The other thing you'll notice here is the smell of ganja. Namaste dosto. I did not expect to find hugely bustling streets here in the US. Oh my god, it reminds me of India and there's a lot of similarities. It is very, very cool here in Nashville. So let me take you for a walk around this place and just show you how incredible it is and the similarities that I see traveling from India. I actually find Southern Americans quite similar to Indians. They too have a very strong culture and they love to share it. They're very friendly people and they want everybody who comes here to experience their food, their fashion, their music and they just love sharing with people. So there's one other thing called the Southern Charm as well, which they're known for here in the South. And I've experienced this like every day on my trip. It's just, it's just the friendliness of people. They have a charm about them. You might be walking down the street and everyone's saying hello to you for no reason. It won't happen in this area because you know, what you're about to see is party central, but it'll happen in the suburbs. Some old man like walked up to me said hi and just started chatting to me for like five minutes. That's, that's just how they are, really sweet, really charming. And just yesterday actually, I was at this Hattie B's eating and uh, I, I met a Midwestern couple in the line and they invited me to sit with them and because I was alone. And yeah, we just chatted. And this has been my experience in America. People are incredibly warm and welcoming. So, uh, yeah, let's go see what's happening around here. Can't wait to show you. All right, guys, we are on the Honky Tonk Highway. And can you believe this? There is music venues from beginning to end, all the way down to that Ferris wheel. There is, hi. There is music venues, both sides of the road. You can hear the music starting. You can hear the bands performing. And every one of these is a bar, a restaurant, and they all have live bands playing all day and all night. And it's, it's just out of this world. It's really incredible, this place. This is the heart of the country music industry in the US. And a lot of famous acts have come up through here. Chris Christopherson, Willie Nelson, the Kings of Leon. They all came from performing in these types of bars. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding you, every single place has a band playing. Like, isn't this just out of this world? This is music heaven, okay? If you love music, this is the place for you. There's Jack's Barbecue, we'll go there later and I'll tell you about the food. But this is the Honky Tonk Highway, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> 
place is wild, man. You could not come here and have a bad time, even if you're alone like me. You can enjoy the music because, yeah, it just gets inside you. It's incredible. This is basically like what Mumbai is to Bollywood, Nashville is to country music. Just see how many people are here. It's incredible. Everybody's here for a good time and to have some fun and dance to some music and listen to some good music. The other thing you'll notice here is uh, the smell of ganja. There's a lot of that going on here. I guess it's legal here, I don't know. Something funny just happened, so um, the guy asked me to pull up my shirt before I entered the bar. I'm like, what do you want me to pull up my shirt for, man? That's so weird. And uh, so I pulled it up at the front. I'm like, and then he goes, turn around and do it. I just pulled it up at the back. And he was checking for weapons to make sure I was, you know, I wasn't packing. Do I look like I'm packing? They weren't, they weren't checking everybody. Maybe I look like I'm packing. I mean, I would be if I lived here in the US and I was allowed to carry a gun. Just look at these neon signs. Don't you love them? Don't you just love these signs all along the road here? All right, so I'm here at Kid Rock's bar now and he's got like a three-story bar. So let's go check it out. What did I spend so many nights? Alright, let's go and try some classic southern food and that would be barbecue. So this is like a classic barbecue restaurant. We're gonna try some, some real southern barbecue here. And uh, the first thing that hits you is you can just, you can smell the barbecue and you can smell the sweet barbecue sauce as soon as you walk through that door. So you can see in there all the meat is in there. Where do you guys do the barbecue? Um, it depends, like the brisket, that's brisket for tomorrow. We smoke it 18 to 20 hours. Okay. Yeah. Where do you smoke it exactly? Right down here. Oh, That's you guys smoke, smoke it right here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they smoke it right here. It's a smokehouse. Yeah. There's this big yeah. smoker here, and huh. there's another smoker upstairs just like this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is where you want to come for barbecue. <laughs> That's what I'm having. I've ordered ribs. And he's just cutting them up, plating them up. And it looks good. It's pork, right? Yes, they are. Sweet. Where are you from? Actually, I live in India. You live in India, really? Yeah, but originally in New Zealand. New Zealand, okay. Yeah. Which one you like uh, the most? In, uh, India and New Zealand? Bro, I live in India, so I think I made the decision, right? Okay, touche. <laughs> You're right. Touche. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are quite surprised by it, but no, no, I love India, man. So what's the best part about India for you? Everything. I'm from a small country. Uh -huh. India is a huge country, man, like America. Uh -huh. You could never get bored there. Yeah, it's okay. incredible. There's so many states like the US yeah. and there's so much to see in every single state. So for a guy who loves traveling like me, it's heaven, absolute heaven. And the people are good, obviously, like I married my wife there. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. What's your YouTube channel name? It's my name, Carl Rock. Oh, Carl Rock. Rock. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. You'll find it, man. Yeah, thanks. All right, I got my barbecue. This is my first time eating barbecue in the US as well. You won't believe it. And uh, I'll tell you one thing about the US, nothing is cheaper. It was really expensive. So this plate was $27. And so you have the price of something, you have to put on state tax, and then you have to put on a tip as well. So everything ends up being really expensive here. I will admit it doesn't look very appetizing. So we've got two sides here. This is macaroni and cheese and corn. And this is, this is the good stuff. This is pork ribs. And you can see that kind of, that, I think you call it like a smoke ring there. Let's try the sides first. So mac and cheese, my first American mac and cheese. It's just cheese and macaroni, cheese and pasta, that's it. Simple. Uh, tastes like baked cheese. 
Right, corn and something. I don't know what else is in there. No idea. It's just sweet corn and butter. This is the sh this is the sh It's just so meaty. See, it's just falling off just like that. Absolutely perfectly cooked meat. Mm. Oh wow. It's really been worth coming all this way just to, you know, have real American barbecue. I saw it on YouTube so many times and I said, I gotta come and I gotta do this. One of my travel highlights. You ain't seen nothing like me, There's nothing that do. There's also a GB road here that I stumbled upon uh, earlier today. I don't know if it's legal or not here, but uh, yeah, there was a whole area just for... What's up, what's up? Just for GB road type activities. <laughs> it's a bit later now and there's this massive queue everywhere now to get into anything. And a lot more people out on the street. This is, this is 10 o'clock now at night. We're getting down to the end of the Honky Tonk Highway and we're gonna hit the river in a second. Just let me show you it. It's a bit sad at the river. So one thing that I did not expect, because you know, you think this is America. I don't realize there was so much, so many homeless here and so many beggars here in the US. I did not expect that and I've seen that across my time here. And it seems a really sad stuff, unfortunately. That was just one thing that I noticed here that I didn't expect it to be that bad, as bad as I've seen. I don't know why I didn't expect this level of just nightlife here in the US. I don't know why I didn't expect it. You know, like I'm used to this bustling, this bustlingness in India, but I didn't expect to see it here and I'm really pleased I found it. Oh man, what a night. I think it just goes to show you. We all have these really strong coaches and you know, Southern Americans like Indians, they love to share it with everybody else and that's exactly what you're gonna find here in Nashville. So get your buds here. Soak it up, I wish my wife was here. She couldn't come because Indians can't get a tourist visa at the moment, or else she would have been here. And this is the exact place for her. She'll be dancing on, on, the, on the bar top. Man, I, I love this just coming alone, but ideally, don't come alone. And ideally, uh, have a few drinks. I don't drink, so what to do? You can smoke up here though. If I had to do something, it would be that, but I don't even do that. I'm, I'm loving my time here in America. And uh, like everybody else says, God bless America.